the Byte 5 can support a special type of discharge test. It can be used to measure not only the voltage of each cell throughout the discharge process, but also the impedance and cell temperature. This allows the user to record the impedance values throughout the discharge and can be useful for establishing the low impedance limit for the string. The impedance value can then be entered into the string configuration as the low impedance alarm. This way, you know when the impedance reaches this value, it's time to perform a discharge test. Please note, not all battery aging mechanisms affect the impedance the same. This limit will be based on sulfation, so it is not recommended to use it as the sole indicator of a good or bad cell. To perform this test, you'll use the duplex probes provided with the unit. One pin on the probe injects current, the other will measure the voltage drop. Connect the probes to the Byte 5. Press and hold the power button until the unit turns on. The unit will now boot up to the main screen. Since we are taking impedance measurements, we stay on the ohmic screen and select Discharge. Press Select to select a string for testing. Select the desired string to test. If the string is not present, please view the string configuration video. Once you've selected the string, select New Test. The Byte 5 is now ready to test the string. The string name will be displayed on the screen, along with the low voltage limit. Any programmed impedance limits will be displayed as well. However, since this is discharge test in this mode, the pass-fail indicator will be based only on the voltage limit. The Byte 5 will show the pass number through the string, as well as the cell to be measured. Now measure the first cell. The Byte 5 will make an auditable beep when the measurement is complete. It will display the measured voltage, as well as the measured impedance, and the measured temperature taken off the negative post. Please note this method of temperature measurement is applicable to VRLA batteries. The Byte 5 will show if the measurement passed or failed. This value will be based on the voltage limit programmed in the string configuration file. Now proceed to the next cell. Continue this process until you've reached the last cell in the string. Once you've reached the last cell, the unit will ask you if you're done or you want to make another pass through the string. If you are done with the discharge test, select End. If you want to make another pass through the string, press Next. At any time, you can retake a measurement. Just select Manual Cell Select. The unit will then ask you if you wish to just do this once or continuous. If you choose once, then you'll just retest the one selected cell. If you select continuous, then you'll be able to retest all the cells starting with the one you picked. Select the desired cell you wish to remeasure, then retake the measurement. Once you've retaken the measurement, the unit will ask you if you wish to start a new pass through the string or if you are done. If you wish to start a new pass through the string, select Next. If you are done, press End. When your testing is complete, you can either go and view the data, see Viewing the Recorded Data video, or just shut down the unit. All the data is now saved.